I got drafted by the Chicago Cubs in 1996 in the 56th round. It's pretty low. Matter of fact, I got drafted so low by the Cubs. When I got the phone call, it was collect. I swear to God, I got a collect phone call. But you don't care. I was excited. Immediately went down to spring training down in West Palm Beach, Florida. Yes, yeah, sat the bench. I was like, wow, coach, I can't even play at practice? You do know this is training camp. <laughs> can't get in any practice drills or nothing? I don't know if anybody here ever played like a high school or college sport and you set the bench most of the time. You know exactly the mentality I was going through. You start the season like everybody else, excited. Yeah, I'm getting some games, I'm going to hit some home runs. And after a while, you don't get any games, you kind of sell into your position mentally, right? I lost my glove halfway through the season. I ain't even bothered about a new one. I didn't even look for it. No one even noticed I was missing a vital piece of being a base. No one cared. I stopped caring. I stopped wearing my cleats to the field. I just wore my tennis shoes and flip-flops. I didn't care. I would order pizza in the seventh inning with that dugout phone. Hey, coach, what you want on your slice? Cut the crap, stat, and get your head in the game. My head, what about the rest of my body? That would love to get in the game. My mom's at every home game watching me eat sunflower seeds all nine innings. With a video camera. And I was 18 when I got drafted, man, so I was young and dumb. I went and got a stupid baseball tattoo on my right arm like a jackass because I thought it was going to be my career, and I was just there. <laughs> and people always ask, why you got a stupid baseball tattoo on your arm? Now I got to explain my failures in life. I got a microphone on my left arm, so I really hope this comedy thing work out. I'm not getting no UPS truck tattooed anywhere. <laughs>